Good morning, David here, weekly week. Look, today is Friday, uh, 15th of July, pre-market open, um, 7.07 in the morning, and we're looking at UK wheat, um, November 2016. And we've got three charts in front of us. Um, we've got the way mover mouse over here, we've got monthly, weekly, and daily. And you can see that, um, surprisingly enough, um, with, the, with the rise in the sterling, um, we've maintained our um, wheat price. Um, in fact, I mean, last week we were at 121. Tonight, last night's close, 122.80. Um, and you can see here quickly, I'll move my mouse over the daily chart at the present moment. You, <coughs> you can see now, it's the third time we've tested this high here, <coughs> 23.50 to 24, and failed to break through it, and obviously pulled back. Um, Let's have a look on um, the sterling and just see what's been happening on that chart at the moment. And you can see here, just move across here, that obviously uh, we've seen a, um, a rise in sterling. I'm using this against the uh, the, the uh, US dollar. And on our visits of what I worked out last week, um, we should have seen a fall um, in the wheat market of some six pound a tonne due to the rise in sterling of nearly 600 points. Um, but obviously this has not taken place, um, even with the uh, Bank of England not um, raising interest rates, up uh, lowering interest rates yesterday, and, and enforcing uh, further QE. Um, it, it, you know, with the sterling going up, we should have seen the, uh, we should have seen the pound coming down, but it's, it's held, held very re resilient. Um, on the pound dollar, we're back testing the 2008 lows here, and this is this level here, 13468. So really, basically, um, if now we see uh, any further weakening of the pound, then obviously, um, and we break through this high here of uh, 2450, 2350, 24, um, we could see quite a, um, an upward move on the uh, on the wheat, UK wheat market. Um, if I just come across and bring up um, the uh, bar chart chart, you can see here that quite clearly it's easier to see here this this resistance here 24. You can see how we just keep knocking against it, but we're forming higher lows. So it's quite a bullish kind of pattern. Um, and if we do get a, a close above this, then obviously we could see with the with the lowering of, of the uh, sterling again, we could see quite a pop um, on the UK wheat market. Just looking at events coming up in the future, we've got today, we've got uh, Mark Carney speaking, uh, Governor of Bank of England at one o'clock today, which will affect the sterling. Uh, and, and we've got inflation rate next Tuesday. And we've got uh, an unemployment rate next Wednesday. So they're three events that could now affect and push sterling back down again. And obviously, uh, with that, um, we seem to, uh, you know, look for this uh, breaking above here on the UK wheat market. If we have a look at the Chicago wheat, you can see on the wheat, on the week, sorry, it has been uh, a sort of... Um, testing these lows this is the two not 2009 level lows and you see that that is that has risen a bit um, and hasn't broken down below them at the present moment so at the moment it's all about this level um, on the UK wheat um, if we see a break here obviously we quickly see sort of 27 28 30 and then even 34 um, so obviously key will be watching those events coming up during the next week uh, for any further weakening of the sterling. Um, and obviously if we get a break above this, then obviously um, we, you know, we're looking to give it quite a lift. Um, and I'll put that up there this time next week.